Howdy folks, and welcome to Ammo Getting 2021. And on this episode, we're gonna show you how to get some trigger time on an AR-15 platform without burning through all your 5.56 ammo. So stay tuned. If you're familiar with AR-15, you're gonna be familiar with the Crossman DPMS SBR. A lot of the controls are just like an AR-15. Your magazine is going to insert the same way. Your bolt release, it functions the same way as well. Your charging handle works the same way. Your safety selector, you have safe, semi-automatic, and what your AR-15 probably doesn't have is that third selection for full auto. The magazine that'll come with your Crossman DPMS SBR is this. It's a 25 round mag. You can load it like this, kind of contrary. Pull that back, it locks back. And then you get your mag loader that comes with the gun and you just load them in like that. It is CO2 powered. So you take this side off here, comes with, you put two CO2s, starting with this one first it even says it get a little allen wrench and you'll put that allen wrench in there screw it down put this back on and you're ready to rock and roll on that one now the other option you can get i believe this is a 300 round mag that you can get i think it's like ten dollars more than the standard one it holds 25 rounds as well you load the bbs up pulling this little door back then to load the mag, pull this back, give it a little shake, and it loads up. And this one's CO2 powered, and you just open that little thing back there. Kind of the same operation as the first one. Put this one on first, and that one on second. Tighten it up with the Allen wrench. That is your mag options for the DPMS SBR. Your SBR will come equipped from the factory with an adjustable buttstock flip up sights and a healthy amount of Pekingese rail. It also has an angled grip on there so you don't have to touch those abrasive bumpy knobs. I've taken mine a step further and put a red dot sight on mine. It has red and green reticles and a laser light combo for all those late night missions you're going to do with your BB gun. To go over what I got on my DPMS here. I've got a, did a quick camo job on it. Just a real quick one, looks pretty good. Put a red dot on it. Another CV life. Decent sight for the money. Go a few of the specifics of the gun. The dust cover does work, it opens. And it does have a reciprocating bolt. To clean this thing, you need to pull this, kind of like a real AR-15, pull the pins out. You've got all these internals here. It all pretty much comes out. Take it apart to clean it. Put it all back together. Functions good. The only BB that you should use in this gun is a steel BB, 0.177. Don't use anything else. Has to do with the magnets in it, making it full auto and stuff like that. And uh, this is definitely not a toy. Don't take this to an airsoft competition, that's for sure. To go over some of the pros of the Crossman DPMS SBR. It is a mere copy of an AR-15. It is pretty much the same thing. The mag release is the same. The bolt is the same, bolt release, safety. Everything is pretty much the same. It gives you the training of an AR-15 only in a BB gun. Uh, it definitely has some heft to it. Doesn't feel like a cheap toy. That's one of my pros. What do you got, Mike? Well, the affordability of it. We bought these guns for $200, BBs and CO2 included. Um, during ammo getting, this is the cheapest way we can find to get some trigger time in. Yep. So that that's really my biggest pro to the this rig. Yeah. And probably one of the best pros, I think, is that full auto switch. I mean. Where else are you gonna get a BB gun that shoots full auto? It's cool as hell. But that's the pros we got on DPMS SBR. 
to cover a couple cons you might find in this gun or that we've found first one would be the magazine um, I didn't read the owner's manual and that was my first mistake you want to make sure this plunger is all the way back and seated I went to load BBs and that plunger came out and I put BBs inside of the spring somehow and when I went to get the BBs out I tore my spring up so now I'm going to buy a new magazine read your manual with anything but these mags are a little bit unforgiving if you misload them another con not really the gun's fault but when it's cold out co2 it doesn't work very well it hampers your gun a little bit and hampers your experience but that's just the nature of co2 another thing i want to add on to this is it's not the most accurate thing in the world it's a smooth bore gun and it's 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 not meant for accuracy and stuff like that it's meant to have fun but that's just a couple cons for me yeah another small con that i had and again i'm going to attribute it to user error would be the speed loader there's a little guide on top i broke mine off pretty much immediately again i didn't read the manual and i just started jamming things in uh, read your manual i mean mine still works but it would be a little easier if i did have that guide on there so i guess the moral of the story read your manual yeah yeah well there you have it, folks the Crossman DPMS SBR. Yep, definitely a great product. Get yourself one, save yourself some ammo. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.